The United States is a destination country for thousands of men, women and children trafficked from all corners of the world. But it doesn't get much attention, says John Morton, the director of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, and it should because of the sheer inhumanity of the problem. Once they understand what's really going on, that children are being forced to work in horrible, abusive conditions, or girls are being forced into prostitution, or young boys are being forced into prostitution, that resonates with people. People are fathers, people are brothers, people are sisters. They get that there is just a basic wrong to this. The U.S. State Department estimates that up to 17,000 people, primarily women and children, are trafficked to the United States annually. U.S. officials are trying to combat the problem by educating the public about the dangers and signs of human trafficking. Morton says prosecuting traffickers and dismantling their bases is a challenge. Even when you do find the victims, uh, you've got to build a case and you've got to have victims who are willing to testify. And that's hard for a lot of uh, victims. Uh, they're, they're very, very afraid of their traffickers. Two, going after the sort of root causes in many of these countries. Andrea Boton is a specialist on human trafficking and directs a website that focuses on the problem. She praises ISIS efforts, but she says more is needed to help victims. That would be to improve our uh, networks and communication with ethnic communities um, that uh, tend uh, sometimes to stay a little bit closer knit and um, authorities don't feel comfortable maybe accessing their communities. But in fact, the better understanding we have of closer knit ethnic communities, I think the better um, we can find those, those labor and sex trafficking victims. Another Washington-based advocacy group, Fair Fund, seeks to prevent human trafficking and sexual violence from destroying the lives of young people, especially girls. Andrea Powell is its executive director and says her organization sees about 1,000 cases a year. One of the biggest challenges that we face is with all of our outreach and advocacy, we're identifying young people who've been victimized and we have very few places that we can take them that are really adequately prepared for an extremely, extremely traumatized child. Burton and Morton say victims mainly come from Asia, Eastern Europe and Latin America. And Morton's agency maintains contacts and offices in many countries in those regions in an effort to stem the flow. We train a lot of law enforcement, foreign law enforcement, on how to tackle this problem, how to investigate it, how to work with us, because all of these uh, cases end up involving transnational criminal networks that are moving people from one country to another. Often Morton through, says through last year, ICE opened more than 650 cases involving human trafficking and made 300 arrests, the agency's highest number ever. Mariama Jalou, VOA News.